Man with the Guitar Paradox No one is impressed with your guitars or guitar skills as much as you are. When you see that someone has a really good expensive guitar or can play the hardest songs, we tend to idolize the feeling of owning it or having it, rather than feeling impressed towards that person. We tend to lean towards the feeling of wanting that respect and admiration we get because our brains are hardwired to do so. Your ability to purchase an expensive guitar or play hard songs makes it a desire for other people. It isn't subtle that people want to be adored and respected by others, but we should all be aware of how we seek it. Being kind to other people and having empathy will be a much better method to seek respect than what distortion or shredding can do. Save money You don't need a reason to save money. You can just save. Being frugal with your money can save you a lot of hard work and overall increase your happiness. Learning to be happy with the guitars that you have instead of needing the high-end limited edition guitars that otherwise just sound nearly the same can create a gap between the amount of money you have and the amount of other necessities that you can buy instead. Spending so much money on a guitar is just a reflection of your ego and in the process a way to show people the amount of money you have. Unfortunately for most guitarists, this is a problem as they are so used to getting attention and an added ego boost which just makes them more inclined to buy more gear or more guitars. The one way to combat this is to change your definition of wealth by desiring less. When you desire less, you are able to spend less money and save up more. We spend things on guitars because they are tangible objects and don't save because it's intangible. But knowing that wealth is mostly invisible will help you increase your overall happiness as it increases your flexibility to do things and opens up more opportunities for your future. Your change Imagining a goal for most people is fun and easy, but we are actually pretty terrible at forecasting who we will be in the future. We may want to buy more guitars and gear when we are young because we can use it to become more loved and respected just as our guitar heroes. But eventually as we grow out of this phase, we will start to realize the poor financial decisions we made on that new PRS or that new leather strap that was sold for 100 bucks and you never used it. The end of history illusion is the tendency that we humans are aware of our changes in the past but underestimate our changes in the future. With this also comes the acceptance of the reality that we are a changed person and that all that spending in the past does not concern you now in the present. Us and them it's hard to grasp that most famous guitarists have different goals than us, the average consumer. We think that if we followed their guitar practices, have their gear, or follow their lifestyle, that we would end up like them at the end of the day. Take Tyler Larson for example. He always has the latest gear and the most expensive guitars. There must be something that you are doing wrong that's holding you back from achieving this lifestyle, right? This is not the case as he is playing a completely different game than we are. This is what he does as a job. We shouldn't be persuaded by guitarists like him since he lives a completely different life than the average guitarist. In fact, most of them do because they took a risk to make this their career and they eventually became successful with a little bit of luck. Most guitarists want more gear and find new ways to say that they help you sound different and unique while in reality it's just based upon their own goals and perceptions. There is no objectively correct answer for a guitarist and we just do something that works for us. Never enough We never have the feeling of having enough because our goals are always moving. Even after we have achieved a goal, it still feels too little. This is why whenever guitarists have learned a new song, they tend to learn harder songs that leads to disappointment. Not that it is a bad practice, rather it will push us to the point of regret if we don't realize that enough is enough. Always chasing the best technique, learning the hardest polyphia song, having the latest signature guitars, all these material skills and possessions might aid us in the present, but not for long. One of the hardest skills to master is to set a definitive end for your goals, despite its large importance in maintaining your finances. The main problem of this comes from social comparison, in which guitarists are especially prone to due to continuous growth of modern guitar and the exposure to more people playing expensive guitars or harder riffs. We aspire to be like them because we want to be admired and respected. But we must realize that social comparison has no ceiling and cannot be won by fighting, rather it is won by not participating. Be happy with what you have and that you do not need to risk the money you have for the luxury that you don't need. 
Hey, if you found these tips useful, they came from this book called The Psychology of Money. You can get them at an online store or local bookstore. This book also contains 15 more lessons regarding wealth and they can be applied to non-guitarists as well.